point, um, here is the rand with the uh, pegs, and uh, I've cut a piece of um, thin shoulder out that's uh, probably like a, a five, six ounce weight. And um, I cut a 45 degree uh, angle on it so that when it comes to meet the, uh, the feather, it'll be uh, flush. And I also cut a little V in it that makes it like a trench but I was careful to not go all the way through and then the, the stitches will sit in that nicely when I pull them tight. And um, I moistened it slightly. So what I'm gonna do is um, stitch this up. I'm gonna be using um, two needles at once and basically uh, crossing over through the same hole. I'm using these curved needles and a waxed waxed uh, polyester thread. If it didn't have wax on it, you would have to have beeswax and uh, wax the thread yourself. The um, wax kind of protects the thread and keeps it more permanent and also uh, helps it move through the hole and then when it cools off it kind of solidifies, really anchoring it. Um, another technique that would be nice to experiment with is the uh, bristle stitching a long time ago they would um and it's still done today but they would use like a uh, six inch long boar bristle where the uh, end of it is split open and a, a figure eight of um pattern is woven into the bristle and nowadays it's kind of hard to get a boar's bristle but you could use um 80 pound monofilament fishing line as a bristle um but we're going to be doing this project shoe with curved needle and um, I'll post a link at the end to a video of um, someone stitching with that if I can find it for you but uh, there's a great resource called Crispin Colloquia that uh, has a lot of lectures and things on it so uh, I'm going to um, just get this started a little have my awl with the curved blade in it. Take a peek at where the uh, 